What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome to RGH Tech TV and today let's see some basic to advanced tips and tricks, features, customizations and much more on Redmi Note 3. So all you have to do is sit back, relax and watch this video till the end. Now as it's a 5.5 inch device, at times it becomes harder to reach the corners. Hence we have the one handed mode or the single handed mode on this device. So which you can find under additional settings, which shrinks the screen size to 4.5 inch or 4 inch or 3.5 inch and enables to use this device single handedly. Now how it works, swipe from home button to the right side if you want the small screen on the right side and swipe in the reverse direction to return to full screen. Same steps can be followed on the left side if you want the small screen on the left side. So this is super useful guys, I really like this feature. Now to transfer multiple applications from one home screen to another, you can press and hold on the multitasking button, select the applications you want to transfer, move to the new home screen and click on the applications and they'll align themselves from left to right. This is pretty handy and saves much of time. You have the option of weaving the battery status as graphical percentage or top bar. You can see it on the top left corner, the bar is in red color. It means battery is below 15%. You can find it under battery and performance under additional settings. Another feature which I liked was the animation part. If you try uninstalling any application, it will give you that firecracker animation, which looks cool in my opinion. And you can enable or disable it under the battery and performance under additional settings. This phone has a notification LED light. And the good thing is it's multicolored and we can customize it. So we can set different colors for notifications, calls and messages. You can access this under notification light, under additional settings. Under accessibility, you can enable magnification gestures. That is, you can triple tap on the home screen to magnify it and you can navigate between the pages with the single finger swipe. And if you have to move in the same page, then you can use two fingers. Under accessibility itself, you can enable or disable power button to end the calls. You can add high contrast text color inversion, color correction, which are experimental in nature. You have a feature called Me Mover, which works synonymous to Motorola Migrate, wherein you can transfer contacts, pictures and other documents from old device to new device. To manage the RAM and to make sure that the UI runs smoothly, you can press on the multitasking button wherein you can access recently used applications. Here you can lock the applications to their places or positions so that you make sure that they keep running and clear those which you don't need. And if you press on close all applications, you can see that except the applications which were locked earlier, others get cleared. You can unlock those applications by the same gesture. So in this way, you can manage the RAM efficiently. Now let's see how to take the screenshots. One way is to use the shortcut provided in the quick toggles. And the other way is to press the power button and the volume down button at the same time. Now as far as the customizations are concerned, you can add effects to the home screen change wallpapers and add widgets. And for this, you have to press and hold on the application tray. Apart from these, you can add the themes to this device from over hundreds and thousands of different themes available on the theme store. And my personal favorite as of now is the holy theme. It will change the look and feel of the lock screen, home screen, notification tray, Tyler and messaging application. And then under text settings, you can change the text size to double XL which is huge in my opinion and can be handy if in case you have forgotten your specs at home. Under display settings, you can use reading mode to adjust or reduce the display's background glare, which makes content readable. You can also select which applications can use this feature. Apart from this, you do have light mode where you'll get the bigger icons and only necessary applications. So if you feel that you want to keep your device more simple, then you can have a look at it. So in my opinion, I feel that this is pretty much useful for the elderly people. You also get a child mode under settings where you can exercise some parental control over which applications your child should access or visit. You can swipe from right bottom to the left to quickly launch the camera application from the lock screen itself. Now call recording is also supported on this device and you can access it, customize it according to your needs. And this can be done under dialer settings. 
Now you can connect your pen drive to this phone that is USB OTG supported so that you can expand the inbuilt storage and also access the content seamlessly uninterrupted. Xiaomi tries to surprise you by giving new 1080p wallpapers on your lock screen every day and that sounds amazing. Settings with respect to that can be found under wallpaper settings. Now if you are not satisfied with the MIUI and want stock kind of experience, no issues, install a Google Now launcher and it works fine. One thing which I have noticed is some features from MIUI won't work in the Google Now launcher. For example, the swipe anywhere on the screen to bring the notification tray won't work on the Google Now launcher, but it pretty much works on the MIUI. So that's it guys, I guess I have covered most of the part. If you feel like this video is informative, give it a like, that will surely help. Share this video with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section and I'll make sure that I'll answer them. And also see my full review on Redmi Note 3. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And most importantly, thanks for watching.